Everybody experiences a death in the family or a loss of a friend, and it can be a very difficult experience. I remember when my dad passed away um, about seven years ago now. Uh, it was really tough for me, and it was sudden, and I had to leave Canada to go back to the Philippines. And at that time, my focus was just to be with the family, mourn with the family. I didn't know what bereavement leave was and I didn't even know how many days I could take and if it was approved or not or if I had a job coming back uh, from the Philippines or not. Today, that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about what bereavement leave is, how many days can you take and if it's paid or not. My name is Ryan and I'm an HR professional here in Canada. This channel is all about helping new immigrants or newcomers to Canada get ahead in their career and get ahead in life. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let's define what bereavement leave is. Bereavement leave is a protected leave, meaning your employer cannot terminate your employment with that company if it's approved. And bereavement leaves are, are days that you can take off from work and help you cope through this difficult time. Sometimes this would also include pregnancy loss. So who qualifies for a bereavement leave? Most provinces, you only need to be employed with your company for about two weeks and then you can qualify for a bereavement leave. While other provinces, you need to be employed by the same company for uh, 30 days before you can qualify for a bereavement leave. And um, some provinces as well, like Alberta, you would need to be with the same company for 90 days before you can qualify for a bereavement leave. While in Saskatchewan, for example, you need to be with that company for 13 weeks before they can approve your bereavement leave. So how many days can you take and if it's paid or not? This is where it gets a bit confusing because every province have different rules in this one. For example, Alberta and British Columbia share the same uh, policy where you can take three days per year um, of approved leave but those three days are not paid. While in Quebec, for example, you can take a maximum of five days and two of those five days are paid. And in Newfoundland and Labrador and um, PEI, um, they are quite the same where you can take three days of approved uh, bereavement leave and one of that three days uh, is paid. While the other provinces, you can take five days of unpaid bereavement leave. So some things to remember here, these are what the province's minimum expectations is. But for your company, uh, especially if it's private or even if it's a federal government, they actually have different rules in this one as well. And most of the time, fortunately as well, the benefits given by your private company or the federal government is a little bit better than what the minimum expectation is per province. All right, so that's about it. Bereavement leave can be quite confusing, but I believe now you're a little bit more knowledgeable about what it is, um, how many days um, you can take, and if it's paid or not, and who qualifies for it. If you need to really uh, dive deep into this, I would suggest that you go through your own province's um, government website and research more deeply uh, on the policies because like what I said, it might be there for and, and policy also gets updated and changed. All right, so if you like this video, thank you so much. If you need some advice or uh, free counseling or consultation with regards to your career, just share in the comment and I'll try my best to get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet and I will see you guys in the next one.